I saw the design from a YouTuber called Prince Experiment A to Z on the internet. It consists of very simple and cheap components. I rebuilt it here and who would have thought it? Look what happens when I push the flywheel. The free energy motor runs as intended and the energy generated is obviously enough to power a 15 watt lamp. The movement is smooth and does not slow down over the entire period. Imagine if this generator was built on an industrial scale so that everyone had one of these generators in their basement. A milestone in history. A huge step for mankind. In the course of the video I will show you what the generator consists of and how it works. So that you can rebuild it if you still want to. All right, so the thing runs when you push it. And it looks really complicated like most magnet motors. I will now look at the parts of the generator individually and then you will see where the trick actually is. A small electric motor is connected to the central shaft via a small roller with a rubber band over a large roller. The central shaft carries a massive flywheel and is connected directly to a second small electric motor. This second electric motor has a direct cable connection to the first electric motor and at the same time a cable connection to the lamp. The lamp lights up because the motors are used as generators and their movement is converted into electricity. On the other side of the central shaft is a roller to which a metal pin is attached off center. Each time the roller rotates, magnets connected to the metal pin are pushed into or pulled out of a plastic medical syringe. At the opposite end of the plastic syringe, there is a stationary round magnet with a large hole into which the movable magnets are pushed. So far, so good. The initial movement of the flywheel starts a process in which the overall system gains energy from the combination of the moving magnets and the cleverly interconnected motors. Have your own thoughts for a moment, because we'll see what's behind it in a moment. Well, the system is triggered and starts to turn. That was to be expected. But where does it get the additional energy from? Let's start with the two electric motors, which, together with a lamp, form an electrical unit. Let's take away all the other components of the perpetual motion motor and see if we can find the special trick here. If the motors have a significant influence, then they would continue to run on their own after the initial start. In addition, the motors together with the rubber band act more as a brake for the system, because if two motors are short-circuited and do not happen to run exactly in parallel, they break each other. The rubber belt is also a real friction disaster. Nothing can turn on its own here. Let's now look at the magnets in and on the syringes. Perhaps they are able to generate free energy. Obviously, the repulsion of the magnets from each other is utilized on both sides of the machine, so the same poles of the ring magnets and the cylinder magnets must be directed towards each other, though that they repel each other. The impulse from the hand that sets the flywheel in motion causes the right and left moving magnets to move alternately towards the static ring magnet on the corresponding side, repel each other and move back due to the magnetic repulsion. The force of the magnetic repulsion is therefore the key. The magnetic repulsion is greater than the effort required to move the magnet into the area of repulsion and so it harvests free energy. Are you wondering about the glass block and the marble ball? It is my approach with the gravity model. I designed the following gravity model. In the model the magnetic attraction becomes a deepening with a ball in it. As the magnetic force. The ball that falls into the cavity is therefore the effect. The depth of the depression corresponds to the strength of the field. The force are equalized in the deepening remains unchanged and the ball comes to a standstill there. A balance is created. 
If a force is exerted at right angles to the direction of the magnetic field, the ball is pushed up the slope from the recess. The force that is exerted to move the same mutually repelling poles of magnets towards each other is represented geometrically to the attraction as an increase. The ball on it always tries to roll down the slope towards the least repulsion. The poles try to avoid each other. This feeling is familiar to anyone who has ever tried to put two repelling poles together. After the magnets have moved out of the way, a balance is also created. If we now apply this principle to the magnetic motor, it could look something like this. As only magnetic repulsion comes into play here, we only see hills. And because the opposite magnet always comes into an area of magnetic repulsion, the hills are always opposite. At least as far as the principle of technical realization allows. This allows the principle of two moving magnets to be reduced to one moving magnet and the overall force effect on it to be visualized using the gravity model. The blocks representing the individual forces are shown at the front and the block representing the cumulative forces at the back. This block is stationary and rigid as the forces cancel each other out completely. Though the secret of the machine is just the flywheel and due to its mass a flywheel preserves the movement a little longer because it masks the friction factor somewhat. However, it can only conceal the friction and not reduce it. In any case, no energy is released. As a result, the machine would behave like this. What do we learn from this? This system looks like it could be create a permanent imbalance. But in our world there is no permanent imbalance. There is no infinitely high mountain and you cannot go infinitely downhill. Infinity is probably not part of our universe and so everything tends towards equilibrium. I hope I have been able to shed some light on the magical world of perpetual motion machines. If you liked the video please give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you dare. Thanks for watching, have fun!